Welcome back to Sorrow Assist. Adam here, and today I'm going to be picking my specialist limited team on so rare. Hot off the heels of my first place in the Champion Asia Limited division in game week 270, I'm hoping for some more good results in the upcoming game week. If you do like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Sorrow yet, there is a link in the description below. If you did wish to start your collection today with one limited card and 13 common cards. Okay, let's get straight stuck into this video then and today, as I say, I'm going to be picking my Specialist Limited team. So the criteria, as always, is a minimum of two players with an average of 40 or below in the last 15 games and a maximum of one player with an average of 60 or above in the last 15 games. Maximum two players allowed from the same team and you don't select a captain in the Specialist League. So I'll go ahead and go into the team builder here. Now the first thing that I like to do is go over to my lineup builder. And the strategy that I've been using recently is using a solid goalkeeper in the goalkeeper slot. This is because the other option of course is to use that slot for one of the 40 or below players in the last 15 games. But that generally means that those goalkeepers are scoring very low and very rarely keeping a clean sheet. And ideally you do need a goalkeeper to keep a clean sheet to have a chance of getting some decent rewards. So that's why I've decided to use the goalkeeper slot for one of my better players. Hopefully a goalkeeper that can keep a clean sheet. That leaves me two slots where I have to fill with a 40 or below player. So let's just head over to the lineup builder first of all then and see what goalkeepers I've got available for this upcoming game week for that goalkeeper slot. So I'm on the Surrey Data lineup builder here. I do like to use this site just to have a look at the odds percentage for the team. So this is the chance of winning based on the odds for that game. So it looks like I've got a few options in terms of the goalkeepers here. So yeah, plenty of decent decent options here by the looks of things. So as I say, I want to go for a solid goalkeeper. Bearing in mind, my other teams as well though, I need to keep that in mind. So judging by this, I've got two David Roof. And they've got a really good fixture as well actually. Potentially a good chance of keeping a clean sheet. They've got plenty of clean sheets recently. Then I can use the other David Roof as well in my challenger team as well potentially. But I have got other options as well in the challenger division including Mohamedi that I've recently um, won as one of the rewards. I've also got Jo Hyun Woo as well, which was my star player for finishing first in the Champion Asia Limited Division. He's obviously got playing for a decent team. Kept a clean sheet in the last game as well, uh, but he could be one for my Asia lineup potentially. So, I think I am going to go with David Roof here. Seems the most solid option is at home. I do want to try and put my best players in this division if possible. Because you've got the chance of winning the rare cards of course. So I'm going to go with David Roof in that goalkeeper slot there. Now if we just look at David Roof's score. He is 61 in the last 15. So that means that is my 60 plus player taken up. That doesn't matter though. There's plenty of other quality players that I can pick. That are going to still be scoring well. Even if they've got 59 and below average score in the last 15. So let's have a look at the defenders next then. And now ideally... I want another solid player in this position. But what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to actually start with the forwards. It's so like I say about my strategy, I am looking to hopefully get a forward in this um, as a, a 40 or below player. So I'm going to see if I can fill in a couple of these slots with a forward where possible, with a player with 40 or below in the last 15. So let's see what options we've got then. Now Nils Goza might have been a good option, but I think he's still injured actually. I think he's still potentially injured. I've got a high here as well, actually. He scored in the last game. He did start as well that match, so that could be an interesting one. And he come on the bench, off the bench previously, and he also got a goal there. So he could be a, a, an outside chance there, an outside shot. Josie Altador, don't think he's going to play this one, and Odder has just been coming off the bench recently, so it's not looking very good for him. So there's not many options, actually, in terms of the 40 or below here. So Nies Goza could be one. Although I think there's a slight chance that Nils Goza could play here. So I am tempted to go with Nils Goza here. They are playing first place Philadelphia, Robin, so that's not going to be the easiest of games. Um, so this, um, so it looks like I'm not going to be able to utilise my plan potentially. Now, Ohio, if I can get some team news on this, this match here, hopefully Ohio could potentially start. Um, so I think I am going to go with Ohio here in the forward slot. I wanted to check the team news on that though, just to see to make sure he is playing. But he's scored in the last couple, so I'm hoping he can get another goal uh, in this game. So I'm going to need to go for potentially a, a midfielder that's potentially able to get an assist or a goal. That's another option, of course, for the 40 or below. Um, so I'm going to look for a def 
a midfielder now. So what midfielders I've got in that forty or below category. So I've got Hume Boom here for Jeju United, which could be interesting. 30, 41 and 38 in the last few games. But we did get decisive here where we've got an assist. This looks like a favourable fixture as well, so he can maybe get an assist in this game, which would be good to get him to that around that 60 mark. Uh, Pizzi's not been playing. Murillo is still injured, I believe. There's not many other options, really. Salamekas has been starting recently, but he's playing, playing and rubbish. Derkin is potentially injured. Suzo's injured as well. So the only other option really is An Hyun Boom here. So I'm going to go with him in the midfielder slot. Let's just have a quick look at the defenders because it's not looking like I've got much choice here in terms of the uh, 40 or below players. I've got Navas that always seems to crop up. But he's been now at the team. He should start this one though. He was sub in the last game. Got Marcos Lopez as well in Sporting Kansas. Very rare that he gets a score of a 60 though. Which is what I'm wanting really. I'm wanting a player that can get a decisive action. Now Maras got a decisive action in the last game. Oh no, didn't he? Just played, he just played really well by the looks of things. Got loads of points from his um, defensive duties. So that's that's looking promising. They've got another decent fixture as well there. So that could be a decent shout. Before that, he's not really got many good scores, has he? So, yeah, I think the easiest fixture is that Jeju player, isn't it? Hyun Boom, here he is, look. Did get an assist in this game. Pretty good game as well at home to um, So and Blue Wings. So I think I'm going to put him in the midfield slot. So that's the two 40 or both players um, sorted out. He should start. I will take the team news for the, um, Austria Wiener just to make sure he is starting as well. Now, defenders then. So I can go for two pretty solid players here. Obviously, I've already used my 60 below in Davy Roof. So let's go down then. So I've got Michele here at home to Anderlecht. 49% chance of winning. Got your man here, but I want to probably couple him up with... Um, Rung Xiong for Kawasaki. Fukumori could be a good decent op option here. Han Bum as well for Seoul FC. He's been playing well recently. Kirby for Lazio could be a good shout. Now, Kamel Miller might be a good one here. 59% chance against Real Salt Lake. And he's got some really good scores recently as well as you can see here. So, they could be an option. Might have to be McKellar, you know, in that defender slot. I am tempted to go with Navas though, you know. I'm just tempted to blow this out the window. Go with Navas in that slot. So the defender slot, I'm actually just going to go with Navas, I think. I think it's the only option I've got at the moment. I'm going to go with Navas in the defender slot. And I think that makes the most sense. So I'll get rid of Juan Boom there. So in terms of the midfielder then, I've got two, two solid cards that I can use now in these two slots. So let's just go to the midfielder, see what I've got available. It has to be... Um, under the 60 mark though, because so we've got Lee Chang Min here. Harakawa was out last game though, so I don't know if he's going to start that one. We've also got Rakitic as well here, 40% chance of winning. Now that's interesting because he could link up with Navas. Although I have got um, Kaneko as well, and I could potentially use Fukumori. Let's have a look at some of the other fixtures here. There's no real standouts. Maybe I, maybe I should use a different goalie and then go for one of these better players in one of these slots. Potentially even Carlos Gill could be an option. Yeah, so I'm going to put Carlos Gill there. The goalkeeper. I'm going to actually go with my new signing that I got for, for the Star for the star Limited that I got for finishing first in the Champion Asia Limited division. I'm going to go with Joe Hyung Woo. I'm going to give him his debut for me. Um, Navas in midfield. Gill up front. Although he's 45 or below, so he could be actually used in my underdog team, uh, which is something to think about. Now, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay with Hyun Wu in this team. I think I'm gonna actually replace a higher though with Min Q, and then I'm gonna put that other Jeju midfielder back in the team here. I'm gonna put him back in. Then there's a bit of a Jeju stack there. Carlos Gill up front. Navas in in uh, defence. If you can get an assist, that's good. It's just this guy's the weakest link. But the 40 or below players are always gonna be the weakest weakest link, really. Um, Joe Min Q is obviously a fantastic player. So is Gil. He should get a clean sheet as well. The Olsen Hyundai goalkeeper, hopefully. So it's just down to these two. If he can set up Joe Min Q, that would be fantastic. And then if Navas can get an assist or something as well, that would be um, the perfect scenario, really. So I'm going to 
finish with that, I'm going to finalise that. Now, the other thing I don't like is using the special, Specialist League is using someone like Carlos Gill in this team. Because obviously that's taken away from your other teams. But there's some big rewards potentially up for grabs in this division. So I'm going to go ahead with that. I'm going to go ahead and confirm the team. So that is pretty solid. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to pick the rest of my teams now off camera. Because we'll be here all day otherwise. <laughs> and, um, if you did like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of my team. Is there any that you would have changed out from the players that I got available? Um, do let me know in the comment section below. You can also become a member of the YouTube channel by now by clicking that join button below. You'll get early access to all the scouting videos on Sora Assist. Or you can become a patron as well where you'll get weekly scouting from me. And you'll get early access to the videos. And if you're not signed up to Surrey yet, then sign up. Use the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. And also check out surreyassist.com for some free Surrey resources. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.